students who are on campus, uh, you know, when, you, when you're kind of on campus or kind of in the university setting, uh, everything is so uh, controlled to, to a degree. Everything is kind of like uh, it, the, the university plugs everything into your life. And you don't realize until you hit the, uh, the real world that uh, they kind of take the, the sort of the incubator from you or uh, kind of take everything away from you when you're out in the world and you're fending for yourself. You have to think for yourself, rely on yourself. And uh, a lot of people don't develop those that skill set or, or develop those characteristics when they're at a university because they're, they're so supported or they're supported by the university. And that was the same thing in my case as an athlete, uh, as, as a student athlete, you're... Uh, you have your, your housing in order, you have your, uh, your your food in order, you have your facility, you don't have to worry about anything. You're not counting dollars, you don't learn how to manage money, anything like that. You're just kind of living because you know you have a four-year blanket for a lot of people. And uh, it's not until you get into the real world that you realize all the things that you were kind of underdeveloped in. And that thing definitely hit me early on when I was away from football. and. Uh, and at the end of the day, you're going to resort back to what you know and the things that you grew up doing, and that's kind of what happened in my case, just not educating myself, uh, not having goals outside of athletics and just things of that nature. Because it's a lot of things that I went through that I, I kind of have different perspectives on them, uh, be, it at what, uh, be it at different points in my life, you know what I'm saying, just based upon uh, uh, just what, like you, you say, with personal relations between people, be it uh, man, woman, anybody, the older you get, you start to just understand more, realize more, and you put things into a different context. You know, saying the older you get, and that's kind of where I'm at now. What do you hope young people get out of your message, and, and, and what is the message you're trying to send? Uh, a story of redemption that um, it's not over until you say it's over. Uh, it's it's kind of over when you stop continuing to search for the answers to find uh, sort of your passion or your path in life. Um, uh, more so, more so than anything, is uh, self-educating. I used to have a, a belief that. Uh, school was your, uh, your, 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 your sort of solution to everything, but school more or less is like kind of the start of everything, but the things you do outside of school, educating yourself and life experiences and just learn how to assess relationships and learn how to build on uh, the, the positive ones and get rid of the negative ones. I hope through, you know, saying just some of the stories or some of the things I've been through my life that they can kind of pick those things out and carry, carry them jewels on with them through life.